Ethan, you've pushed me to do something. I don't, I don't know if I can do it. Here it goes. Hershey's Cocoa. Spoon. I think it's gone bad. I don't know what it's supposed to look like inside. It smells awesome. Here, I'm gonna make sure you can see. I'm doing this for you, buddy. Because when I was a child, you just didn't do this, okay? This wasn't like a, you knew that the chocolate was bitter, okay? You just, you just didn't mess this up. Oh my god, oh my. Official review is not good. <laughs> good morning, good morning. It's Super Bowl Sunday. And you know what that means? We gotta get ready for the Super Bowl. So we gotta get ready for the Super Bowl. First thing we gotta do is take Stella to the vet. So this is a huge part of any perfect Super Bowl Sunday. Stella, are you excited to go to the vet? Yeah, she's super excited. Let's go. Stella dropped off, check. Now, I guess I go home. I, don't, I, I really don't have anything else planned for Super Bowl Sunday between now and when we go to Ben's house for the party, so. Yeah, that's about it, that's all there. Super Bowl Sunday, what's for lunch? I'll tell you what's for lunch. Rich and hearty Progresso New England clam chowder. Why rich and hearty Progresso New England clam chowder? It's like Tom Brady, it's rich. Like Julian Edelman, it's hearty. Like me, Progresso, it's canned soup. I'm poor and it's from New England. And while we're on this whole New England theme, we're gonna have Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Because that's a New England, right? Honestly, honestly. Not bad. Emily, what is Super Bowl Sunday all about? Can you right now? What is it about? Football. Football and? Eating as much as possible. So what are we making right now? We've already had our clam chowder and everything because like hail New England and now we're making copious amounts of pizza rolls. And then Emily, what are you making for the party? Corn dip. What else? Bacon wrapped asparagus. Oh my gosh. What else is going to be at the party? Buffalo chicken dip. I freaking love the Super Bowl. I've always liked football and I was raised because my dad is from New England to be a Patriots fan and then when I met Emily on our second date she said I, I told her I'd never been to a professional football game and she said that she had season tickets to the Washington Redskins so I like both teams a lot I'm a huge Redskins fan and I'm a huge Patriots fan and to build on that the first football game I went to with Emily was against the then St. Louis Rams and they beat us 24 to nothing so today's a Big day for me. I feel like I can cheer for both of my teams, even though the Patriots are the only ones playing, and I'm excited, and I've got a good feeling about this one. Emily, come here, I wanna show you this thing. So, for those of you that don't know, Emily and I got married a little over a year ago, right? And when we got married, we had, we had a brand made of our wedding logo, which was done by Vaishon Brandon. The brand was made by somebody on Etsy, but I'd never seen it before. It is so heavy. Oh my god. It's super heavy and basically Ben, whose house right right now, branded all of our wedding on all of our wedding favors. It was like a, a little cookie of birch wood and this is on it. It's so heavy. It's very cool. I've never seen it. Ben Jim. Ben, what do you got here for the food right here? We have 
taquitos by the cup. So it's like you come and select your cup of taquitos. This one I think comes with 17. <laughs> and then you just sat for the rest of the night. It's great. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. Jordan, what did, what did you get for Emily and I for Christmas? Well, I got you guys a giant box of chocolates because chocolate. Chocolate is so good. Tyler already ate one. I ate two. Thank you very much. Hey there. Hey, what does football mean to America? Are we live? Yeah. Hang on, let me get a phone. There it is. Hey. What does football mean to America? Hey, I've answered that question already. <laughs> Are you being asked again? <laughs> ben, Jim, what about you? What, how are you feeling here well, in the first quarter? I've gotten really into gambling mostly. So that's been my big thing. I have a solid $20 riding on this game just on DraftKings alone. And then Allie and I have a bet going on, and then we have our betting board over there. So it's just like. I mean, really grand total, I'm like maybe $37 in. So. It's big. It's big, I know, I know. I got big. a lot riding on this. Oh, do you have my, my bet with you? Yeah. No. So this is Tyler time on the couch, and we, we fall back into the couch. Tyler, tell me about football, about life, about everything. I don't know anything about football, and I really don't know anything about life, but knowing that I don't know about either of those means that I know so much. But that really does prepare you in a way that a lot of people don't have. Yeah, you know? I'm absolutely I mean, that's, clueless, but I'm aware that I'm a clueless. Right, so. and that's, I think that's what your 20s is really all about, is learning that you really know nothing. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and that's, that's what it's all about. Jordan, I am so scared. Jordan, do you, I mean, where are, are we right? Are we wrong? No, you are so right. It's painful. <laughs> Thank you, Jordan. Thank you, Tyler and Tyler on the couch. Thank Tyler you. Squared. Tyler Squared. Out of absolutely nowhere, we have a beautiful day. It's like 65 degrees outside. So we are out here grilling. Currently the grill is gross, so we're just gonna clear it up and then throw some little tilapia on it. It's gonna be great. Emily, what do you think of the beautiful day? It's so nice outside. We're so lucky. We are. Look at them. So today is, of all days, Jonathan's birthday, so we're gonna go out and see if we can't find him the perfect birthday gift. Let's go. to buy Jonathan's gift is closed. So I've gotta go somewhere else and figure out something else. So, time to explore Roanoke, I guess. Oh man. 
Oh my god, oh my god.